I'm doing something different today. I'm making, uh, I mean, installing shelves above a corner desk. So there will be two shelves. One board is this one and the other one is down there. I already cut them and uh, I just put on the sides on them. So these are particle boards covered in melamine. Not that other kind of stuff from Breaking Bad. This is just some uh, very hard plastic that doesn't wear out. So the two sides are covered in it. And this strip that you have to glue on the side where the wood is exposed. This also is covered in melamine. So it will be nice and uh, not scratch resistant. This is slightly softer material. But uh, yeah, it will at least look good. So yeah, first what you want to do is clean all the dust out. As you cut it and maybe sand with sandpaper you produce some dust. So for the glue to hold, you have to get the dust out all the way around where you're gluing and now this strip is already with glue applied but uh, yeah this is really bad I watched some YouTube videos and uh, you have to apply it with uh, what do you call it iron yeah iron <laughs> okay uh, so you have to heat it up close to 100 degrees then the glue will activate and hopefully stick to the particle board side but usually that doesn't happen this is a really soft glue it's not really appropriate so ideally you should buy one without the glue or try to remove it you can do it with your nail or something, it's something sharp, I don't know, but this sucks. Anyways, I learned about this problem after I bought it, so right now I will glue it on with some acrylic, uh, I don't know exactly what you call it, it's kit, I mean plaster, but uh, it has, it it glues really well and it's slightly flexible so it's it's kind of appropriate I used it for this application many times so yeah this will work just fine let me just make a hole it probably dried up yeah and the most important thing is to put glue on the two sides. Let me just focus in. So here. Yeah, it's broken here, but I will fill it with some, some, uh, what do you call it? wood filler whatever it's basically the same thing as this glue i'm using but it has uh, wood particles in it wood dust sawdust or something and it will fill it up nice so go close to the edge as possible that's the most important part where the side has to be glued on so it won't separate I'm going all the way off camera the board is slightly longer than I showed you it also has a curve yeah maybe going over one more time to make sure it has enough glue like that some more that I missed 
Yeah. Kind of messy, but you can clean it up afterwards. A lot of glue will squirt out as you push on the. Uh, what do you call it again? Uh, I can't talk today. The strip. It's a uh, paper and melamine strip. This thing. So when you push this on, a lot of glue will escape, but uh, you can clean it up afterwards. And also, you have to cut the sides of the strip because it's slightly thicker than the uh, boards uh, width so yeah i finished with the glue now i'll just uh, push it on and it will have like a millimeter hanging out on both directions on both sides and after the glue dries you have to cut it with a special tool or just a box cutter or something if you're really handy you won't damage it you have to <laughs> learn how to not damage it but uh, you can buy a tool for that it costs like ten dollars and uh, you can cut it professionally and quickly with that without damaging anything so now I'm just placing it on top of the glue and in the second move I will push it down. Oh boy. Why is this longer than needed? What did I do? Oh, I didn't cut it yet. Okay. So it should be this long. Eh, cut it slightly shorter than needed. Maybe I'll push it some, oh yeah, I can still push it. Push some of it in the other direction and it will be just fine. Now it's longer here, what? <laughs> okay, this is a stupid game I'm playing here. Now let's push it back. <laughs> okay, that was stupid. So, when I push it down, I usually just uh, use this thing, it's a piece of uh, board in a piece of paper, so it's flat, so I don't push it in with my hands in imperfections, so the strip will stay mostly flat, so I don't push it the wrong way, and just gently go through, push it down, yeah, a cloth would be better, but uh, this is what I put together. Okay, all the way around, and over the curve, and down, and let me just uh, put something under it to elevate it because the strip is uh, sticking out on the bottom and doesn't let the doesn't want to go in its place okay now it's okay one more time let me just see here Like that all the way I use my finger but uh, I don't really care at this point so as you can see some glue came out here and here but it's no problem even when it it dries it's kind of soft for a while and you can cut it very easily so yeah this is mostly done 
Let me show you. So with the white board with black sides kind of looks nice, I think. Okay, and uh, oops. When I mount it on the wall, I will use two of these on the two sides, yeah, like this. One will be here and one here. And in the corner I will just put one of these tiny guys. It doesn't matter in the corner. The two boards will be he held together by a screw. And uh, it only needs one anchoring point in the corner. It's no big deal. It will be fine. This will have to hold the board uh, horizontal. So it doesn't droop. So that's why I have to use one of these big things. This is also under a dollar. The two of them were like a dollar fifty. And this was really cheap. This maybe five cents one of these. Okay. So maybe I will show you how I mount it after the glue hardens and uh, and I cut the strip, the two sides, so it will fit nicely. And uh, yeah, maybe later in this video or another video, you'll see. So here is the smaller shelf with glued on a side strip, this black thing. As you can see, the glue is came out in the sides on the sides. But it's still kind of soft, I can take it out after about a day drying. But I don't have to uh, clean it because I made a cutting tool which uh, is strong enough to cut off the glue together with the material. So here's a Chinese pencil sharpener that I modified. How can I show you a bit closer? We yeah, like this. So it's a standard uh, aluminium pencil sharpener, but I took out a big part here with a grinding wheel, or you can use a simple metal file. It doesn't require much work and I also if you can see here if it will focus I had to take out the part here just a millimeter or so so the blade can fit backwards so originally the blade is like this so it will take a chunk out of the spinning uh, pencil but I turned it around so it will be at this level on the outside and it will uh, take a chunk out of whatever you uh, move above it like my finger which I just cut I oh, know <laughs> I felt something horrible but it's okay so <laughs> yeah this is my invention so the side material the strip will go in there it will be cut off and the cut off material will come out of the hole it's not ideal but uh, it works for now let me just show you Ooh, if I can so what like this where can the camera focus like that and I just use the oh I have to use it in the other direction. So let me show you then the other side. Like that. Maybe here. You can see there's the part that needs to be cut off. Let me just get some of the glue off. So it will be it will give me less trouble. So yeah. So I have to enter like this. To cut it off and this part 
has to be flat to the surface so it will cut exactly at the level of the surface so it won't be shorter taller it will be appropriate so I can go into it here and yeah okay so as you can see it came out as it should here's the cutoff part and here ooh, how can I show you from the other side maybe like that it's perfectly smooth as you move your hand off the shelf you don't feel the edge it cut right right at that level maybe I can focus in on it here from here uh, yeah believe me this is the uncut edge right here and this is cut here it's very smooth so I have to do the bigger shelf too and the other side of this and in the next video or after this video probably I will uh, keep it in the same YouTube video uh, well, in the next video I will mount the shelves so I marked all the uh, mounting points on the wall three of them one here one in the corner and another one uh, on the end of the shelf and don't let anyone tell you otherwise <laughs> you can drill with a simple uh, iron drill I mean metal drill you can drill with this into a wall even into concrete the only question is how many times I've been using this for I drilled at least uh, 30 at least 30 uh, holes and it's still relatively good for walls so I put this in a hammer uh, hammer hammer drill whatever you call it it's this thing it can hammer a bit not pneumatically but with a more simple mechanism so I have to make a small hole for this wall anchor this is plastic and I'll be using a small screw for it like this so this will have to go in pretty much the length of the screw so like that much yeah almost like a centimeter and a half from this point okay so let me put it in the drill tighten it and then close your ears because if i when i turn it on it will be loud whoops yeah plug it in like that and then it will be loud like that but even louder because I will turn on the hammering function <laughs> yeah like that so this has to be very precise the bottom hole here like that and let's hold it So that's what it sounds like. And the drill kind of sank into the head, but that's no problem. Let's try some more. <laughs> Did it. Perfect.
perfect. Let me take you closer to the hole. It's perfectly fine. And we put in the anchor like that and put up this bracket or whatever you call it put in the screw one screw is all it needs it doesn't need more so i just have to tighten that do i have a screwdriver ready This is a smaller one, this doesn't work. One second. Yes, I'm back. And I can't find the bit. Oh, there's one. I got a fatter bit here for this bigger screw going in easy very easy and it will be fine all it needs is that one screw the bottom part will be right here oh maybe i will put a small screw here but uh, only for aesthetics when the shelf is pushing down on it it's staying in its place perfectly so yeah that is fine so let me show you how it will look if i can everything's on top of another thing so here's the shelf and this will go right here, like that. It will be connected in the corner to the bigger shelf with a screw here, right over, right over here with a screw and that will keep it level. So yeah, I will show you the finished product. So I kind of messed up, now the shelf holders, the supports are in the play, in their place, like there and there, the three ones, the small there, this one and that one. But then what did I do over there? That's right, I drilled the hole in the wrong place, because for some reason I marked it there even though the shelf only goes up to here so I just missed it <laughs> yeah this is the optimal place this is good so now I will fix the shelves in place like that and then I will screw them into the I mean the supports what do you call those pieces of metal so like that and this is all the way yes this is all the way too now let me hold it with this thing secure it and then I can work on this stupid project I mean it's it's all right don't you think Nice shelves. They are already kind of staying in their place. And with this uh, mechanism, I didn't have to cut out uh, the corner, like on the upper shelf. <sighs> because these two shelves just kind of meet there. And uh, I didn't have to cut anything away. So yeah, this is kind of finished. I just have to screw screw in the uh, the bottom of the shelf. That should be really easy. 
when it's in place I just take one of these tiny screws that can't go through the board and do something stupid like that then try again hold it more steady and it's on <sighs> okay maybe one more screw here yeah let's try one more screw because the one went the first one <laughs> went really well let's try another one yeah perfect okay that screw fell down let me get another screw perfect so what does this want here it's slightly uh, yeah there will be a little it will be slightly this way there will be a small hole oh a big hole this is not good I have to take out this screw this is not good come out how much oh that's quite quite a big distance okay it's good that I took it out this is a flimsy piece of metal here I can't believe I paid almost half a dollar for it so this is the correct spot for the screw here. Let me just move things around to have more space. Two. <laughs> uh, come on. I like you, screwdriver. Don't mess with me. Let's help each other. okay finally and it's in place okay let's put another screw here uh. finally okay now the other shelf right there then we have to make a hole and uh, put a screw through the through both of the shelves so let me just put it Oh, like that, no, it's fine, okay, so I'm working there in the darkness, can I focus in on it, watch me ruin several more screws here, will it be fine, yeah, okay, let's see. Perfect. One more screw in the back. And uh, mm, I don't need to put one there. That is perfectly fine. <laughs> Just resting on the piece of metal. I don't care about that. That would be the final step. Okay, this is good. Man, it's sturdy. This is 
is this turn out well okay so let me get the drill bit I made one just for this occasion when I have to uh, fix two uh, sheets together so this can go into the electric screwdriver this part and maybe I can change the drill bit from time to time so just a quick swap split flip and that's it so let's see the screw is this too long yes it's too long crap so what can I do put something on the top side maybe or put one of these uh, that's not long enough hmm let me search for a shorter screw but I don't want it to be too short so here's one a wimpier screw okay this is shorter this will be fine okay it's not that uh, sturdy but uh, yeah I broke several of these I don't know what material it's made out of but it has piss poor strength like uh, some of them the top twisted off I mean the head it just twisted or bent while I was uh, screwing it in heads are messed up yeah this is very poor quality you can see the difference on the right side this is perfect quality and this one is crappy yeah whatever I don't know for what this was made but I bought a bunch of them for like two bucks <laughs> like 500 of them okay so the screw will go in from the bottom I think so I make a hole in the bottom sheet and it will screw into the top sheet and uh, it's pushing down so on the furthest corner it will be best I feel oh and I should put in a screw into the other one because it's moving now when I'm drilling it wants to move so I will put a screw there if I can I have to stand up oh boy it's very inconvenient Another one man this desk you can't work on it it's in a bad place once it's finished I'm not modifying anything anymore it will stay as is okay finally So now it's sturdy. So let's drill, or at least try, because the melamine, I mean the white layer on the board, that is really tough. It's scratch resistant. So, 
How much is it in? <laughs> Almost in. Okay. That's enough. That's enough. I hurt myself. So how much does it go in? That much? Almost through. Okay. Let's try to drive in the stupid screw and we're done. I had enough of this. Oh boy. Why did I hurt my hand? I should put something down there on the desk. Instead I hurt my hand. So let me make a bit of space for the head. Sink it or something because it's, you know, it can be, it can disappear into the surface. If you do it right. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is hard. Oh, I have to move closer. Blech. Perfect. <laughs> okay, let's call it perfect and I'm out of here. This project sucked. But the result is quite good. As you can see, two perfectly good shelves in the corner. You can put stuff on it like that. Stupid screwdriver, get out of my way, plastic box, junction box, this thing, you go there, oh. okay, I just have to cover up that stupid hole there, which was my mistake, like there, and uh, then we're done, nice little corner desk with corner shelves and huge shelf above, for crap it's one of the most important things in life to have place to store your are your are your all your crap i can't speak